Chelsea fans, I'm sorry if I look like uh, Phil Mitchell. The light in uh, in here isn't isn't great, and I wasn't going to do um, one of my little uh, responses regarding Chelsea Football Club. I wasn't going to do one until after the Man United game, but today on Twitter, right, the way I see it is this: last season. Quite a few in the Chelsea crowd booed Sari, didn't agree with anything he did, booed their own players, Jorginho in particular. Um, surprised he stayed this year, to be honest, because you must think what a shower of horse deposit um, follow my new club. Because I would if I was a substitute. I was getting booed by my own uh, by my own supporters. Um, it's only a small section, but it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a few hundred. Um, and these cabbages have been out today on on Twitter. Everyone's got a right to their own opinion. Yeah, of course they have. We all like our own individual players. I think William's a good player. Other people disagree. You know, um, I think David Lewis made so many mistakes that I was actually pleased when I heard the news he ball watched um, for those of two or three of you that watch these little videos you know I've pointed out instances where he ball watches uh, cost a fair few goals not only that when he's out of position he draws other people out of position so hopefully now he's gone he can do that for Arsenal and we can get a well drilled backline full of youngsters who will listen, learn and be a proper defensive unit. So yeah, today uh, on Twitter, Lampard out. Now, no one knows the, the whole truth, um, but many um, of the uh, of the fanzines, some of whom have got um, writers who actually go to Cobham and watch training sessions, um, are reporting that he had a, a big bust up with Lampard, which was one of several since um, we played against Salzburg, and uh, basically threw his toys out the plan. And Lampard's getting lambasted for this. Um, and I say, no, that's good. If you're a year into your managerial career, but you're stand up to a big baby throwing his toys out the pram, no matter how great a servant he has, and he has been a great servant, David Lewis, I wish him well. I really do. Um, and he's always given 100%, you know. But he does ball watch a lot. He does get caught out of position a lot. And whilst he plays, played some lovely, beautiful 60, 70 yard passes that resulted in goals. And once a season, he, he scores a fantastic um, free kick. I don't think we should be supporting a player above the manager. We seem to be going the same way that we went under Sarri. Now, it's all again about support. Are you a supporter or are you an expector? One of these people that have supported Chelsea since they've been successful. Because I don't see a lot of them who are actual supporters. The booing, the anti-Lampard postings on, on Twitter. You're idiots. You're entitled to your opinion, you pay your money. Those of you that do go. But you're idiots. You're not supporters. Because a supporter, even if he doesn't like the manager, even if he doesn't like the team he's picked, will support for 90 minutes. Newcastle. There's a club full of supporters. They've had a right... Ashley, they've had a right 
bad run of, of, of stuff. But even before Benitez went in there, they were supporting. They've had their 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 minute um, sort of uh, demonstrations in the such and such a minute, but the rest of the game, it's like they were supporting like one of Liverpool before uh, before their latest success under Klopp. You go there, ninety minutes, even even when they even when they didn't agree with. Rogers, or um, they didn't agree with um, oh, my brain's gone. <laughs> Little Palace manager used to be England man, Roy, Roy Hodgson. Even when they um, didn't agree with him for 90 minutes, they supported him, and at the end of the game, they booed. It's called support, and I think it's a concept that we're losing pretty quickly at, at Chelsea. Now, I, look, I like to take the positives out of things. We've got a good young team, um, still a few experienced players, and we've got Rose Brown and Callum Hadoy to come back, even if it's only for the rest of the, this season. Um, if he signs, he signs. Uh, I'm bored with it now. If you are a young man you're, and you're, you love a club, supposedly, and you're still stalling on 180k a week, then... Do you love the club? Uh, Sammy Louise, if he wants to go, I'd say, bye bye, Callum. Even though I rate him so highly, it's unbelievable. No one, no player is bigger than the club. In the last 50 odd years, I've seen them all come and go. And guess what? The club's still gone from strength to strength. Even he, even Eden, I love him. Love him to bits. Great player. I don't rate him that much higher than I rated Zola, to be honest. When Zola left, I was nearly in tears. But the club went on. They got Eden. And the club will go on again. And have other superstars. And some of these youngsters might well be. If we can just do one thing, all of us, go to a dictionary... Look at the definition of support and realise it's not booing at games. And it's not slagging the manager and everyone else you don't like off on social media. You can have your thoughts. You can discuss. But some of it is just abuse. And it shows you up for from what you are if you're involved in that and that's what I like to call a cabbage a cabbage in human form there's no thought going into it anyone can abuse anyone can boo about I think some of them last year who didn't have the power of speech and the boo was about what they could manage but let's try supporting this team and this young manager who is a club legend this team of youngsters need your support. Mason Mount, when he messes up, he needs you to cheer, sing his name. You know, Callum Hudson Adore, he's not going to play great every week. And these people are soon going on his back because he's a youngster. He's learning his trade and physically he's still developing. If Reece James comes in, it'd be the same. You know, as a player. You know, he has lost a yard of pace, but I'll tell you what, he's still a great defender. If you listen to some of these people, he should be in a pub team at the park. You know, if you if you if you think he's that bad, let's let's think of some of the other right backs we could have in the premiership. Yeah. You know, with the exception of one or two, uh it's not that many, is there, that that, that are better. So please, my heartfelt plea to you is support the club. And if you can't do that, if you can't do that, keep stum. Don't boo. Moan down the pub to your mates after. Boo at the end of the game. But during 90 minutes, support. When you're on social media, you little keyboard warriors, you know, you couldn't do any better than the manager. You couldn't do better than Sarri. You couldn't do better than Lampard. 
I bet you've never managed a team in your life that's not on a, a game console. So, bit of respect. Bit of respect for people that have actually done it. Stepped out on a football pitch at a top level, done it. Watch players play day in, day out in training and make their decisions on that. Not on whatever some of these people come to their decisions on. I don't know. This graphics looks good on FIFA probably. So please, come on. Support the Blues this year because you're supposed to be Chelsea supporters. Speak to you soon.